Welcome to the Sphere Day, uh, which is about Forex trading for beginners. And what I want to do today is answer one of the questions we are most frequently asked, which is, yeah, traders coming in the markets, they've got maybe just a few hundred dollars, a thousand dollars or less, so small account. Obviously, they want to grow their capital as quickly as possible. We're frequently asked, what is the best strategy to use to do this? How much is the maximum that should be risk per trade? What is a realistic target growth? And a good few other questions as well. Now, in terms of yeah, making money on a small trading account, I'm just going to give you a quick summary of my favorite strategy and some of the techniques I think work well with the strategy to help you maximize the risk reward. Now, what I'm going to do to show them on a quick storyboard, they'll only take about a minute and a half, then I'll discuss everything in more detail. But here's the summary and I'll be back in a moment. We'll come back after that uh, short summary there. Now, taking the strategy first of all, I don't just think that it's a great strategy to grow small accounts into larger ones. I just think it's a fantastic strategy for any trader to use, particularly beginners. Why? Because it's so easy to learn, have confidence in the logic as well, which is timeless. Now, in terms of a swing trading strategy based on the principles of reversion to a mean price, there are full videos on this on our channel, just search the channel. But what it really is, I mean, the, the concept is simple. Human emotions will always spike prices too far to the upside or too far to the downside. When greed or fear come into play, then those price spikes fade. Now, I'll put, you know, look for price spikes that are two or three standard deviations from a mean price, which is a 20 day moving average, you can just put that on your chart in the form of a Bollinger Band. Look at how, yeah, when prices on high volatility deviate two or three deviations, how much of a retracement you get. The price spikes always fade. OK, so a great strategy um, to use, in my view, logic, very easy to understand. It's never going to go out of date because human nature, of course, never changes. Now, in terms of you know, trading highly volatile price spikes, you need to monitor a lot of pairs. OK, a lot of beginners when they come in the markets, you know, just monitor a few pairs and they normally stick to the majors. I like Euro, USD, yeah, USD, JPY. They think that, yeah, obviously the majors have the lowest pip spreads. They've got to be the best pairs to trade. That isn't so actually what you want to do is trade the pair with the with the best profit potential. Now, in terms of this strategy, you're looking for highly volatile price moves away from a mean price. So let's say the euro is not too volatile. It's trading, let's say, 50 or 60 
pips away from a moving average. It's not going to be a good trade, even though you're only maybe paying two pips as a spread. The risk reward just simply isn't there. Let's say you've got a cross um, where you're paying 10 pips, so 8 pips more than Euro USD, but you're let's say 300 pips, 400 pips away from the moving average. That is a better risk reward trade. Yet the pip spread doesn't really matter um, in terms of this strategy because you're not going to be trading very frequently at all. Yeah, maybe a few times a week at best. Um, but you can make a lot of money, obviously, if you just focus on the really best setups, like the ones that have moved too far away from the mean average. So you, you've got to monitor a lot of pairs if you're doing this strategy. Now, in terms of um, how much should you risk per trade, I think 5% uh, is a good amount. That means you've got to be wrong six times in succession to draw down your account by 30%. I think, yeah, in terms of 30% drawdown, that is manageable, okay? You don't want to be too far back from 30%. You certainly don't want to fall 50% behind. Uh, so what you need to do is if you do fall by 30%, make sure you cut your position size and you're patient in terms of getting the drawdown back, okay? But uh, yeah, you shouldn't draw down six trades on the trot if you research the strategy correctly and you are patient and only wait for the best trading opportunities. Now, in terms of the best trading opportunities, uh, do not diversify, okay? If you have several trades that look good, pick one or the two that look the best. A lot of traders want to do a lot of trades because they feel they spread the risk, you know, and if one trade goes wrong, another will go right. Well, that's, that's true, but all you're gonna do is cancel out your profits with your losses. Now, I, I'm a firm believer in what Warren Buffett says, that diversification is really for people who don't know what they're doing. It's very true. If you learn the strategy, you've got confidence in it, one trade or two trades maximum, okay? Now, in terms of when you are in trades, monitor them, okay? If they don't do exactly what you want or they stall or there's something you see about the trade you don't like, it doesn't matter, a small profit, a small loss, you can liquidate it and go flat. Or if you see another potential trading opportunity that looks better than the one you're in, forget about the profit or the loss in that trade, go to the new trade. It's working capital. You want your money working hard. So just move to the best trading opportunity. Now, in terms of the trading tips that I've given, um, I, I believe that they work, um, they will always work. And I think the strategy um, is just very, very easy to understand, learn and have confidence in. Now, how much money can you actually make? Uh, it's a hard question to answer this because all traders are different. But I think, you know, between 30 and 100% per annum is possible. It's realistic, okay? Um, I think you need to trade for a few months to sort of gauge what your profit potential is going to be. There's no one size fits all, if that makes sense. But let's say you decide that, you know, 100% is your target growth. Don't just, you know, look at 100% per annum. A year away is a long way away. Break it down into a quarterly figure, let's say to obviously 25% and work towards that figure. Uh, you can't do it monthly, in my view. Anyone can have a bad trading month. That's just the way it is. But I think, yeah, if you, you work on each quarter, working towards your target growth, let's say is 25%, just focus on making that amount. Um, that'll keep you very disciplined as well in going for your objective. So they will be my uh, you know, sort of tips on you know, growing a small account you know, without undue risk, like maximizing the risk to reward. Um, so that is the video for today. The tips and techniques work and will always work in that strategy. Uh, if you haven't looked into it before, reversion to the mean swing trading strategy, fantastic way 
uh, to trade the market. So that is the video for today. Thank you very much for watching me as usual. Take care. Have a good day.